Hey guys. Your Punisher here. Um, I wrote down some notes. I did make a video about the notes, but it took a little too long for me. I want to make this quick. So, this uh, belt or no belt video. Should you wear a belt or should you not? I don't know everything, but I'm telling you why I do know. First off, what does the belt do? It adds more support. What does support do? It makes you lift more weights. Plenty of tools do that. The powerlifting, Olympic weightlifting, any kind of fitness community you're a part of. Um, now there's a safety argument upon belts. Belts protect your back. So, me personally, I like to use belts for push presses and cheat curls. We'll get into that later, but that's why I use them mainly for. See, they say not wearing a belt is dangerous. It's what bothers me. I, I make a video of me deadlifting, and everybody's like, You're not wearing a belt. You're going to have a herniated, herniated disc. You're going to die. You're going to snap in half because I have scoliosis. Um, I don't know if it's a bad thing or a good thing. Lamar Grant had scoliosis. Badass deadlifter. So, um, so, me, I've been wearing a belt for several years, never a back injury. Uh, I've had my back be tight, but never an injury, never a strain, nothing along those lines. I've been doing just fine. I wear a belt typically for one rep maxes, and when I put that belt on for one rep max, it's, it's like, Jesus Christ, you just took 30 pounds off the bar. Just like that. Squat, deadlift, it's just like, oh, this is easy. I've been training with 405 without a belt, and I put 455 for a one rep max, and slide the belt on, and it flies up. So, these same people that are talking about wearing a belt, I don't know if they're the same people that say ass to breast squatting is bad for your knees, and then they go and quarter squat 500 pounds. I don't know if these are the same people that do that, but, um, uh, quarter squat, don't get me wrong, has its benefits too. Watch my video, How Low Should You Squat? It has a lot more plyometric benefits, and there's some research and studies on it too that came out shortly afterwards. But how do I personally like to use the belt? Me, I use it as a variation, a tool, uh, as you would say, I guess, an overloading tool. Kind of like a bench press slingshot. Helps you do more weight than what you originally couldn't do. You could look at it as a like powerlifting suit in a way. It might not help you as much, but it helps overload. It helps you do weight that you couldn't do without it. That's the point. So, it's an overloading tool for me. I, I understand building up to the belt, building up to it, deadlift 135, 225, and for 315, getting way up there, your max, on oh, a belt. I understand that. Your floor might break down, but wearing a belt for all your sets, not necessarily. You do, you do got to build up that core strength, that posture, which, that's another thing. I, me, I train for capability. That's why I train for. I want to be good at endurance, strength, agility, power. I want to be good at all of it. I don't want to be super strong in one area and suck at the other. I don't want to. I mean, I like wrestling. It's like my favorite thing to do. And all that stuff comes into play in wrestling. So, I don't, that's just me. I train for capability. And I'm not going to wear a belt when I'm wrestling someone. I, I want to be strong without the belt. Throwing a belt on every weightlifting, every set you do is training. It's it's training yourself to require for you to depend on the belt. I don't want that. So, but again, I do use the belt as variation. Beltless squats, beltless deadlifts. Many powerlifters do that, and they throw on a belt. They might work up to it. I mean, after they use the belt, might throw on the knee sleeves and the knee wraps, then the single ply suit, then the triple ply suit. That, that's that kind of like a building block, I guess you'd say. Um, here's a question I have for y'all. I'm not real sure on. Uh, does wearing a belt build more muscle versus not wearing a belt? I'm not real sure on this. I, I really don't know. I do know that a lot of people I know that primarily train with a belt with 80% of their sets of exercise. as strong as it should be, that, in other words. So, me, I use a belt mainly for cheat curls and push presses, and that's because when I do a push press, I can't help it. My back bends backwards, so. 
That's all. Belt or no belt? <laughs>